Warning, this video does not contain hurricanes, race cars, lasers, or airplanes. With that out of the way, it's officially time to be excited about DuckTales Remastered. After months of teasing, Capcom is finally releasing this long overdue HD remake on the PlayStation Network today. So what are you waiting for? Go buy it right now! Now that you have it downloading on your PlayStation 3, let's talk about the NES original. We already dug into the history of the show and the game on Sunday's YOLO episode, but what did the game critics think of this 8-bit platformer at the time? Did they view it as an instant classic? Or was it dismissed as yet another licensed property? Find out now as we dig through this giant pile of classic game magazines. Disney's DuckTales was first released in 1989, at least a year before most magazines started running proper review scores. As a result, there aren't a ton of reviews for the original DuckTales. But don't worry, because bold deduction never fails, that's for certain. Here's what the critics thought of DuckTales. Let's start with Electronic Gaming Monthly, which was all over the place. Ed loved DuckTales, calling it the best game ever made for the younger player. And just in case that was too subtle, he goes on to commend the game for combining features that would hold a younger player's interests. And if that wasn't enough, he ends the review by telling the readers that DuckTales is only for the very young. He gives the game 9 out of 10. Sushi X disagrees. No, not about the game being for kids, he's totally on board with that. Sushi doesn't feel the game is as much fun as Ed would have you believe. He complains that it's too easy and you'll beat it in a day. He notes the game's decent play mechanics, but feels that they've been toned down for the younger set. He gives DuckTales a 7 out of 10. Nintendo Power is much more generous than Sushi X. In true Nintendo Power fashion, they mostly summarize what the game has to offer. In this case, it's collecting a lot of money and traveling around the world. To their credit, they are one of the only magazines to mention the multiple endings. Nintendo Power gave DuckTales a generous 4 out of 5. On the other side of the Atlantic Ocean comes Mean Machines, which reviewed DuckTales in their March 1991 issue. Matt is one of the only critics to mention the 8-bit graphics. He especially likes the movement and reactions. He does complain about the poor checkpointing, but that doesn't stop Matt from giving DuckTales a 90% out of 100. Best of all, he's basically the only critic that doesn't think DuckTales is for babies. When we average all seven reviews together, DuckTales gets an impressive 81%. Unfortunately, the score is diminished slightly when you realize that every critic seems to think the game is for five-year-olds. But whatever, I'm in the camp that believes that this Capcom classic totally holds up. Thank you for watching this episode of Review Crew, and don't forget that we premiere new episodes every Tuesday and Saturday. And you can find more information over at defunctgames.com. And if you like getting this type of information, make sure and subscribe to the channel and recommend a classic game you'd like to see covered on the show. See you next week for another episode of Review Crew.